All right, so you got one of these five inch TVs, either for the portability or the novelty or something like that, and you want to connect your retro video games to it, but you don't see an audio video input. Uh, is there any way you can connect your games to this? Well, most likely, yes. A lot of TVs like this, look on the back, I'm lucky. This one actually does have audio video inputs. Most of these don't though, but look here, this says, external antenna and it looks exactly like a headphone jack um, this is what you're going to use and I'll show you exactly what you need you need one of these this is a three and a half millimeter to coaxial is that how you say it adapter and you plug this into the external antenna port now from there you will have to convert whatever your playing into radio frequency or RF. Um, a lot of old consoles have RF switches and cords to connect to the antenna port of the TV or you could get a composite to RF adapter or converter um, and that any console that you have with composite video and the RCA cords and stuff like that you plug into that and on the other end it'll come out RF and it'll have the coaxial and be able to go into this. So yeah, uh, let me hook it up for you. Sorry for this mess of cables here. I'm going to connect it to this NES. And I'm going to use my official Nintendo brand NES RF switch and cable. This end goes to the back where it says RF. And this end screws into that coaxial port we've made with this adapter. Now let's see if we get something. Okay. The Little Mermaid is in here. All right, so it's coming through. I'll show you what settings I used on this TV. You'll probably have this setting where you can choose between VL, VH, and UHF. I have it on VL. And then you go to the tuning you look at this column that says VL here. Oh, my thumb's in the way. There it is, VL. And I scroll down. It's somewhere between like two and three. But yeah, I'll turn it back on and show you. That's where I have it. I got a bit of a buzzing sound coming through here. It's not ideal. That might be the NES or the RF switch itself. Um, but yeah, that's how you can make this work. And like I said, if you've got several consoles and you connect them like this, maybe instead of getting the RF switch and cord for each console, you could get a composite to RF converter. That way you can plug any of your consoles that you plug in like this, and on the other end it'll output RF and it'll have the coaxial end that you can plug into that adapter. So that is how you get video games to work on these TVs if they have an external antenna port that looks like a headphone jack. Hope this was helpful.